Hey guys. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. So, you know, the last time we, we all met, we talked about contributions, like local contributions, things that you could do around your house and in your, your school community. We talked about contributions across the country as well as global contributions. And I really enjoyed brainstorming with you guys because I didn't have any ideas, you know, really of my own yet. Um, you know, just about how we could teach others about famous people and their contributions. Uh, and then we decided that we were gonna make some puppets. And that we would include symbols so that you would have some clues as to who we made. I can't wait to see what you guys made. You ready to see mine? Yeah. 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 Oh, I love it. Here's my puppet. It's got a toga on and some laurels and a torch and five colorful rings that represent the Olympics. Any guesses? It's the Greek Olympics. Yes, it's an ancient Greek Olympian. Um, let's see, some of my challenges when I was making my puppet were the hair. It didn't come out perfect, but it's okay. Um, and then I redesigned on the rings over here because I decided I was going to try and keep the sock. So I used washable marker and then just pinned things on. But in my design, I was going to have another arm holding onto the rings. So I just made a little change, redesigned it a bit so that I could keep the sock and not have to throw it out when I was all done. I can really tell that it's Olympian from the toga and the rings. That's awesome. Hey. Thank you. So here is my puppet. It's a marionette. And this is Sundiata. I've got a little Lion King, a little lion on his crown. Um, his hands move and he's holding gold and salt. And then I put some cotton for his clothes. The hardest part was engineering the strings to have his hands move. Oh, wow. Ashley, that is so cool. You know, you adding those symbols of the salt and the gold really helped me know that, that your project was a Sundiata. I really like it. Thanks. Uh, yeah, this is my Rosa Parks project. And I did um, some glasses for her. Um, hers, I think, might have been octagons. I'm not sure, but you know, I just pretended. And then I have the braid. She's holding a bus pass. Um, I have her with her purse and a suit on. And really the, the challenge for me was to think of the symbols for Rosa Parks to, you know, to come up with, you know, a bus pass and then her, her other, you know, the glasses and the, the hair. So, but you know, it, it, it worked out well. I actually looked up some Google images to help me with my, with my Rosa Parks. I love it, Mindy, and I like how you thought about the bus pass and then also had her purse because I'm thinking in my mind, the pictures that I've seen of Rosa Parks, um, we tend to see her handbag that she has and that braid in her hair, but the bus pass was just really, I like how that would have made me think a little bit more about who it is and given me this clue, so. Well, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so here's my puppet. He is Thomas Edison, and I did a little like moving light bulb and I thought that a light bulb was great to do because not only did he, like we said, kind of remake the light bulb that already existed, which is something more usable, but he also had over a thousand patents, you guys. So he had a lot of good ideas. Wow. So whenever we think of ideas, we use that symbol of the light bulb. And then his clothes, everything's pretty basic. It's just construction paper. See, I did brown shoes, no Nikes. <laughs> Um, and I put music notes on his tie because of the phonograph, so. Great job. Uh, the challenges I, I had were, it's still not perfect. I put a little hole in the back, so that way you could like hold them and move them around. Um, but I wish I had thought of something a little bit cooler or easier to manipulate. Um, but he works for right now and he has a little movable light bulb and I actually think he's kind of cute. I have to yes. say the light bulb's my favorite part. I really think that's awesome. And it totally helps me um, recognize who it is. And great job making sure that your clothing was appropriate to the time that he lived. I'm glad that you <laughs> got that straight. <laughs> These are all so cool. 
we want to see what you guys come up with at home. How can we communicate with others about this fun activity? We can share puppets with our class during Zoom meetings or on social media with our family's permission. Sure, you can share your puppet on Twitter um, using at Henrico Schools with the hashtag Henrico Edflix. You can also share with at Henrico underscore steam by using the hashtag Henrico steam. I feel so inspired by these famous contributions. I live nearby the Maggie Walker statue in Richmond, and I'm going to go take a walk to see it. It's a great idea. That's, That's a, a great, great idea. idea. Yeah. Well, have fun, guys. All right, guys. Bye, guys. Later. See you later. See you soon.